Hey everybody, welcome back to Crypto Events Announcements. My name is Eugene Raman Yankar. I'm your Crypto MC and please welcome my today's upcoming guest. Uh, she is a lady. She is Lisa Marcel Lacuna from Barcelona, Spain. She also will be speaking at the AI and Blockchain Summit in Barcelona, Spain, her city in November 19, 2021. Hosted by in my team and Nelly Aloha. This is the third edition of the famous Swiss Blockchain Leadership Summit. So. Lisa, it's great and a pleasure to have you on interview. Thank you. Uh, first on. of all, uh, for those who may be not familiar with you, could you please give us a bit intro who you are, what are your usual work, and uh, what are you working on right now and uh, regarding blockchain? Um, I work at the Catalan Institute of Energy. This is a, an organization within the government of Catalonia. And we are in charge of the um, political or the policy uh, arrangements for to develop um, renewable energy in Catalonia, basically. So we handle issues like solar energy, uh, wind, also some areas of fossil fuels, but mainly renewables. So our main focus and uh, core areas are is uh, these two wind and solar? Well, mm -hmm. maybe it's uh, a strange question because you are in Barcelona. But what are the main reasons why did you decide to share your ideas and experience in your native city of Barcelona at this summit? Well, uh, they were uh, looking for someone who was uh, expert on uh, new technologies that help. Uh, empower people in their use of uh, these free resources, renewable energies. And they came across uh, with my profile as expert on blockchain applied to cities, to cities and urban systems. So they, we, we had um, conversations about the possibility of me being, becoming part of the team um, uh, of um, the, basically the, the, the division on management, energy management. So I belong to that division. And yeah, so the proposal was interesting. They were, uh, they were willing me to, to onboard me uh, as a, a person who would use blockchain technology to help prosumers, to, self, uh, to help citizens to become more self-sufficient with their own uh, wind and solar resources. So that was the, the you know, well, the that's, purpose. That's, that's very, very interesting area of mm -hmm. connecting blockchain and the real human problems regarding energy. What mm -hmm. topics and issues will you be specifically covering during your performance at the Barcelona State? Will you speak about blockchain and energy or more wider or what? Uh, exactly. So what I will be talking about will be our current project, which is called EOCAT. Uh, it, it's spelled like I-O-C-A-T. The EOCAT project uh, is the development of solar communities, which are self-managed and self-organized uh, using their own solar resources. So basically, in these communities, you have a very big uh, producer of energy, typically a public facility who has a solar installation in the roof, which is big enough to serve a small community around it. And we have several uh, households who will be benefiting from that uh, main uh, producer of energy. And blockchain will be used to manage to handle all the transactions back and forth also to balance out if uh, any allowances are being surpassed or if there are any consumers who are not using their full allowance. So in other words, they, we will be creating like an internal market within this uh, solar community for these uh, transactions to, to take place. Well, I have to ask you, as your energy specialist, how do you think will blockchain totally blockchain technology totally disrupt the traditional way why humanity produces, distributes, and consumes energy? Well, I think so because first of all, we are you know at at the at the edge of um, of a very a climate revolution, 
we already are experiencing very serious movements in that direction. And I think that free resources, free uh, energy resources like solar and wind will be more prominent, will be much more uh, important in, in, in the years ahead, basically because uh, fossil fuels are contributing to climate change and they will be, you know, more or less uh, seen as, as something that we don't want to, to promote. Therefore, we'll be leveraging on more uh, renewable and environmentally friendly resources. And since these are for free, people will be, you know, willing to use them uh, their own way. And when people want to use, you know, the resources they have available their own way, you know, uh, and they want to become uh, self-organized and self-managed, then you need technologies such as blockchain to, to make it happen. So definitely that's, uh, that's what we will be seeing going forward. Well, thank you for your answer. I will try to ask speakers from different countries how the things are going on regarding blockchain in their countries. As you are in Spain uh, and you are the professor of university, how do you uh, evaluate or estimate the level of understanding blockchain technology in Spain and a whole level of adoption blockchain technology in perfect minds of professors, of government representatives and a Spanish government uh, how does it uh, relate to blockchain does it understand mm -hmm. the future scenario or it phrase or tell us something about it well i think there is a bit of misunderstanding not just in spain but uh, across the globe at uh, institutional level if you want blockchain is um there is a miscorrelation between uh bitcoin as the originator of blockchain and the current solutions we see uh, promoted or put forward by companies and enterprises. So um, people at organizations and institutions, they tend to think that the blockchain enterprise solutions and Bitcoin are the same thing. Because basically this, there has been this misleading message put across. And as you know, they are not the same thing. So blockchain uh, enterprise solutions are not blockchain are just distributed ledgers this is a different technology it's a different story whereas uh, cryptographic solutions uh, such as Bitcoin are the true genuine and uh, authentic uh, blockchain in our project at the EOCAD we are looking at this uh, blockchain uh, let's say public ledger peer-to-peer -peer, uh, blockchain solution so uh, in other words, we are looking at these open source, uh, community managed, um, non-centralized uh, blockchain uh, genuine solution, non-enterprise. Yeah, so that's, uh, that's our aim, basically because we do not want an authority, we do not want a central um, group or... Um, uh, you know, we don't want the solution to be owned by anyone, just by the, the, the users themselves. So what we will be doing is developing the, the platform and offering it to the users, to the citizens, for them to use. So our role is not to um, control or manage the, the solution, uh, just to promote it and to offer it to the users, basically. Well, do you call yourself Bitcoin maximalist or don't? Uh, I don't know. This jargon, it's a little bit, uh, how to say, difficult to... Um, no. <laughs> no, I mean, I, I, I really appreciate what Bitcoin, you know, did uh, <laughs> in the early years of, of blockchain. And of course, without Bitcoin, we would not have blockchain. But I think that uh, blockchain can do, can evolve much more. And there is a huge potential for uh, better and more, how to say, uh, more user-friendly solutions. So I'm not a maximalist because I think there is a lot of room for improvement in order to approach blockchain to the citizen, which is, uh, it's not happening yet. 
Wow. So uh, mm-hmm. Bitcoin is is a little bit too. Uh, it, it's 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 for experts, still for experts. So the day we see blockchain solutions that are massively adopted, then we can call it, you know, a success. Blockchain is not yet a success. Well, we're still in the early stage of adoption mm. of this technology. So yeah. what are other directions or destinations our industry is moving on towards you can mention in the blockchain space? Uh, I believe that uh, industries, instead of creating fake blockchains and this, uh, you know, called blockchain enterprise solutions, which are not blockchain, they should be developing user interfaces that help the user to use the real blockchain. In other words, um, Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies are hard to use by users, and there are no solutions based on, based on those mechanisms. So we do not have projects based on Bitcoin. We do not have, oh, we have not many projects based on Ethereum and Litecoin and many other crypto solutions. So I think that there is a huge opportunity to develop uh, user-friendly solutions based on those um, peer-to-peer networks. And this, in my opinion, is a huge area for entrepreneurs, startups, and business in general to develop. Well, I think I'm totally convinced that you will be one of the most interesting speakers at the summit. And finally, Louisa, whom will you recommend to visit AI and Blockchain Summit in Barcelona in November 19, 2021? What type of person will mostly benefit of, from attending this event? Uh, I believe anyone interested in new IT trends, basically who wants to be, you know, uh, on top of the most relevant and most, uh, let's say, novel solutions, they should be definitely attending because uh, blockchain and AI, they are both rapidly evolving. So it's, it's, it's essential to, to be there to, to grasp on, on the recent developments. So ladies and gentlemen, if you are searching for right time and right place for exploring, for continuing for exploring blockchain and its impact on the world, on the way how we live, how we, how we do things in our life, and especially if you want to meet uh, this professional lady, blockchain lady, Luisa Masalakuna from Barcelona, Spain, please pay your attention on AI and Blockchain Summit in Barcelona, Spain, in November 19, 20 and 21st, hosted by in mind and by the way we can also meet with you at other events please check the cryptoc.com and find a list and promo codes of these events and subscribe my facebook page and youtube channel and stay tuned for next speakers interviews regarding this event and other events dr luisa marcel lacuna from barcelona spain and eugene ramanian come over to you thank you for watching see you in november 1990 1920 21st in barcelona spain and ai and blockchain summits stay tuned stay crypto and thank you very much luisa Thanks for having me.